Hi there, this is Dale. I'd like to run you through some of the basics of Notability um, so that you can productively use it with your students in your classes. Uh, Notability is at its surface level um, a substitution sort of app that allows students to use digital ink and allows teachers to use less uh, or almost eliminate paper altogether in class. What it really can be is a great creation tool for students uh, to be able to create documents using pictures and photos and uh, mind mapping kind of stuff that um, is integrated with Google Drive and, and is a fantastic tool for, for students. And so you can see uh, here with my Darth Vader background um, that Notability is in the middle. So when I touch Notability, uh, it opens up all of my different notes that I have. Um, what is great about Notability is its ability to work with PDF files. Um, and I'm going to actually I'm going to actually go out of here and I'm going to go into Blackboard here and I'm going to pull in a, a PDF file and sort of show you the process um, that you go through uh, when you open a, a PDF file. Uh, so we'll go into one of my uh, courses here from yesteryear when I used to teach. Um, and this is the mobile version of Blackboard. Um, and so I know that I have uh, a PDF here, and when I touch on it, it will open up, and you can be able to see it, uh, Unit 1 pacing. And what's great about this uh, in Blackboard Mobile is when you look at the top of the right-hand corner, uh, you'll be able to see, and if you're watching the webcam, I, my iPad's on the left here, when I touch uh, the square with the arrow pointing out of it, it gives me the ability to open with. On an iPad, the open with function is very critical and very important because when I touch that, it's going to give me all of the apps that I can open this PDF with. And you'll see there's a bunch of them. For convenience sake today, we're just going to touch open and notability. And what you'll see is notability opens. And it gives me two options, really. It gives me the ability to create a new note, uh, which will create a new blank picture of this PDF that we pulled in, but it'll also allow me to add to another note. Um, the add to another note is good for students if they're uh, working on a project and they pull PDFs from all different areas and they want to be able to combine them together into one. This function allows students to be able to do that. Uh, but we're just going to create a new note here. We're going to see this pull up. Um, you'll see a, a former uh, pacing guide of mine that, um, that I used in, in a previous life. I just want to quickly go through some of the things that, that you can do here uh, with the tools of Notability. Um, at the top you have these different icons. Here's the T. The T stands for text. And if I were to touch the screen, um, you'll see a keyboard pop up and I can add text right here. Okay, And if I want to move that text, um, I simply push the, the right arrow right here. You can see I'm pushing that and I can move it. Oops. I can move it around. Okay. What's neat about this is if I want to highlight this and uh, select it, I can do bolding and, and do all these different formatting things that, um, that are available in, in a word processor. That can be sort of a, a cumbersome way to do that. And so what I want to do is show you that if I were to touch and hold, it gives me a couple of options. If I've had something copied, uh, or cut, I could paste it, but I can also add a text box. This is a little more malleable. Um, it allows me, I could type here. It gives me all of the same functions that I had before in terms of formatting, but it also gives me the ability to work with a text box. That text box, I can move all around uh, the sheet of paper, sort of overlying on that PDF that we have in there really cool way to be able to type text if students like to type instead of write and you'll see that there really is a difference between typing and writing uh, with Notability uh, they're, they're able to do that um, and that's a, a fantastic um, tool for them you'll see here there's a cut copy delete uh, if I touch the paper it'll allow me to change the paper for that that note that I've stuck in there um, you know, if I want to do that, that allows that, that portion to remain green and I can move that around. And those are editable later. The one part that students do like to be able to do is add written text. And so if I touch 
the pencil at the top, you'll see that I have written text. When I touch and hold, uh, it gives me all the different options in terms of color, in terms of um, width of, of what the, the, the writing should look like. Um, and I can choose those, so let's choose some colors here. Okay, and I could simply uh, write wherever I want on the document. You'll see I, I chose sort of a thicker here. That's with my finger. Okay, uh, if I use a stylus, it's a little easier, but that certainly is personal preference. When I touch that red pencil at the top, if I go down and I choose a thinner, uh, it makes it a little easier to, to write. Now, do students use styluses or their fingers? Yes, they use both of them. Um, and I think that really is a personal preference, whether you're talking about students or teachers, that really they, they have the ability to choose uh, how they'd like to do that. And styluses, uh, you saw me leaning over earlier, I was grabbing one out of my box, or out of my um, backpack. They're, they're cheap enough that students can pick up a bunch or teachers can pick up a bunch and, um, and use them. Uh, personal preference, again, I think. That's the pencil portion. Here's the uh, the one next to that is the highlighter. Again, same same thing. If I if I touch and hold the highlighter down, it'll give me the same sort of options, different colors, different thicknesses, and so this will allow me to highlight certain things. What a fantastic tool to be able to read and annotate text for students to be able to highlight much like they would on a piece of paper, uh, but they're able to store this and do it digitally. The eraser. The eraser does not erase the original document. And so if I have this eraser text, if I want to get rid of this right, it's gone. And all I have to do is touch that eraser. Same thing with the highlight. It says it, it looks like it, I'll do this again. It looks like it's erasing that text as well. You can see that, but it's not. I let go and it's still there. And so the eraser portion does not affect your master document. It only affects the digital link or the highlighting that you have put on there. What if I want to move this? I've written, let's go back to, you know, I've written this here. I can't move it when I write it. That's what this cut tool is for. Okay? If I touch the cut tool where the scissors are and I go and I make a square around what I want to cut, it cuts it. And now, if I want this a different part of the page, I can move it. And it gives us this the whole idea of being able to format, cut, copy, delete. So if I want to erase, but the cut tool is a really cool option to be able to move uh, these different things around that we maybe wrote on for our document. Interesting thing about Notability is the ability to voice record. You can see the microphone here, and when you touch that microphone, uh, I'm sure with the different systems I'm running, I wouldn't be able to do it, but let's give it a try. You'll see here, uh, recording a voice uh, here, which is good, and students would be able to um, whether it's maybe maybe one of the uses for this is in a choir or a band or an orchestra class uh, where they're able to have the music up that they're playing but also record it uh, as a way for teachers to assess them. The plus part over here on the right hand side allows you to insert other things. Okay, And the insert here takes you through a list and it's, it is um, a listing of a lot of things you might see in iPad apps. If I were to touch photo, you'll be able to see all of the different photos here that we have. Um, and there's a photo that I've touched that I insert. Okay, but if you were to touch that, you take a photo and you can put them all into your iPad, or excuse me, under your Notability. If I were to touch it and put take a photo, your camera is activated and you can see my my computer there, if I touch that and I use it, that it becomes part of my part of my document. If I touch that again and I go to figure, this allows you to create figures that you want to use in here. Uh, and so if I touch the left knot and I touch the line and I draw a line and I click done, that line is now there and I can move that line around if I want to do something straight. So this plus allows you to put things in. One of the interesting things about the, the, the plus on the right hand side is this web clip. So if I touch web clip, it's actually going to open up a web browser. And if I open up Google, 
I can work in the web, find the picture of a website or something that I need, and if I touch done, it's going to give me that picture of the web. Okay, so if students, you don't want students to save to their camera roll, it's just a different way of using Notability. Now I have all of these different things on Notability that you can do. I think really the first part where you can write in answers on a sheet, it's really a substitution level part of, of the SAMR integ uh, tech integration scale. But when you start to insert pictures and you start to insert different things that you can do in this app, you really start to move up to that augmentation and modification scale where you can use this app. Surely it's an efficient app that you can use for lessening paper, but it's also a student creation app uh, that students can do things that they maybe couldn't have previously done without the technology. Let's look at a few more things before I'm finished with this. If I touch the wrench, it gives me some different utility things. It can change the paper. Uh, for you math people here, you can change the paper to a, a, a grid, a graphing paper. Um, so that you can have that in the background. You also can put in a sticky note uh, if you want to make a note to yourself. A sticky note is editable um, and you're able to go in and uh, edit that. Okay. Um, the other part here at the end is you can look at the different sheets of paper that you have. You can see my paper, my graphing paper actually went to a second page. Um, and so if you the upper right hand with those different pieces of paper those are being able to see multiple sheets of paper. Um, let's actually do one more thing here. Um, this is probably a very important thing. On the bottom right hand corner you'll see the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass gives you a text box that magnifies what you write. And if you were to write here, you can be much more precise in what you're writing than if you were on the top part of the page. And so if students have a hard, a hard time with worksheets or putting their answers in, the magnifying glass is a fantastic way for students to be more precise in their writing in Notability. Um, so that's a great tool and you can do any of the things in Precise. So if you have a highlight, students can use the magnifying glass uh, to move around and highlight. Uh, let's go back to my other page and let's take a look at that. You know, if they want to go through here and do some highlighting, they can be far more precise in their highlighting than maybe they would have been otherwise. And so if you have some sort of a smaller text for students, um, this, this magnifying glass allows that, allows that to happen. Okay? In the end, you're going to want to pick a destination, or your students are going to want to pick a destination for these, this document to go. Luckily, we're a Google Apps for Education district, and so Google Drive, um, this app was chosen as a core app. Uh, integration of Google Drive was an important aspect, and so when you touch Google Drive, it's going to ask you to, you know, what do you want to do? Let's go through a couple of things. Um, PDF is the, if you choose format, it's going to give you these three things. For the most part, you're going to want PDF. Um, RTF is probably not a, a good way, maybe it's just for text and audio recordings. Note is the Notability native format. That format, um, you have to have Notability, so it's only openable on an iPad. But for the most part, your students, you want to uh, educate your students on choosing PDF. So we go back to Google Drive, it's a PDF. Okay, you can turn recordings on, uh, you know, turn the background of the paper on, lots of different options here. But you go into your folder and you would look for in Google what folder you would want to want to send it to. Now this can take time if you have a large Google Drive to load. As you can see, um, it takes a while uh, to load, but you can, here are my, here's my Notability. I touch Notability, and there's all my Notability backup. So I got my, make sure I have my um, Notability backup on folder, okay? And I send this to Google Drive, and it goes. Okay, and that will take a little bit because I have a lot of stuff on there. Uh, but it will wind up in Google Drive. The cool part here, and I'm going to cancel this because I've shown you how to do it. The cool part here is that the destination can do a lot of different things. You can email, Google Drive, AirDrop, really cool, open in. The open in is, is a, a, a pretty important part um, of Apple and, and iPads. Um, and you can open in another, another app if you need to. But the destination makes this a pretty uh, flexible app for you and your students to be able uh, to use. Certainly, I haven't covered every aspect of um, 
of Notability, but hopefully it's just a quick short overview of some of the different things that you can use in Notability. Really, teachers' creativity and, and, and gaining students and what can we ask our students to create is probably the most powerful use of Notability. Thanks and have a great day.